Through our research, we've identified five different dimensions of irritability. That's affective, behavioral, cognitive, perceptual, relational, and environmental. Starting with the first one, affective, uh, that entails mood and emotion, things like anxiety, depression, and uh, how someone's feeling today about, about how they are and uh, the things around them. Behavioral, uh, that includes things like trying to control impulses and uh, self-regulation, things like that. Trying to control um, t the time that you have to manage today and having control of your life or having disruptions to that. Kind of perceptual includes what we call self-talk. We talk to ourselves every day, we're, we're hearing our own voice, and sometimes those are negative thoughts. And people with brain injury, um, but what we learned, uh, have a lot of negative self-talk, comparing to where they were before, getting upset with themselves for not being able to um, do what they used to do, thinking that people think they're stupid. Um, so the self-talk uh, and how they may be perceiving the world around them can be contributing to irritability. Relational uh, has to do with people interacting with each other and that causing irritability. For example, being interrupted in the middle of a task or being reminded of things to do can feel like nagging. Uh, misinterpreting someone else's communication or their emotions or maybe being misinterpreted. Environmental, a lot of people will complain of sensitivity to noise and crowds and that irritating them or changes in their environment that may disrupt um, how they feel like they need to do things to be in control.